It's not rare seeing a truck attempting to go through a tunnel but not fitting due to its height. There are plenty of videos like this on YouTube. The laser vision team from Australia must have grown tired of seeing them because they came up with a solution called Soft Stop. A sensor at the tunnel's entrance checks the vehicle's height. If it's too high, a mini waterfall activates, displaying a large stop sign via laser projection. Additionally, warnings can be activated for accidents, smoke, or other issues. Soft Stop is a lifesaver for the Sydney Harbour Tunnel, which handles over 30 million cars annually. It can display a warning in less than three seconds. Furthermore, Soft Stop has potential applications in underground parking lots and other locations. This trailer might seem like another add-on for the Cybertruck, but it's actually much more interesting than that. Displayed on the screen is the latest innovation by Vitronic, a leading company in traffic control systems. This trailer assists in catching traffic violators, even if it means placing it right in the middle of the highway. Once in place, its smart equipment takes charge, knowing all the speed limits and considering the time of day. Equipped with a set of cameras, it monitors multiple lanes simultaneously. Built tough, it can withstand various weather conditions, vandalism, and even bullets. As a result, there's a significant reduction of about 26% in traffic violations. Oh, and it's electric powered, capable of running for up to 10 days on a single charge. Imagine that bricks, slabs, and other materials arrived at the construction site, but there's no crane in sight. How can the truck be unloaded without delaying the driver for the next job? Enter this built-in crane solution. These unique hybrids are based on Vergelzang trailers. Last year, one of these trailers clinched the Mass Expo Safety Award, impressing the jury with its engineering innovation. Test results show that the crane, side panels, and other components had a safety margin allowing the trailer to carry loads of up to 35 tons without needing straps. With just one person's effort, steel plates, brick pallets, and other loads effortlessly flutter across the site like butterflies. Liquid 3, the first urban photobioreactor in Serbia, is located in Belgrade and contains 600 litres of water filled with special algae. These algae absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, making Liquid 3 equivalent to two 10-year-old trees or a 200-square-metre lawn in terms of air purification. Maintenance for the reactor is required only once every month and a half. It involves refilling the reactor with fresh water and removing excess biomass, which can be used for compost or biofuel. In summary, Liquid 3 is an excellent solution for streets where planting trees is impractical and space for lawns is limited. Adding amenities like benches, lighting, solar panels, and charging ports can further enhance its utility. In Canada, specifically on a street in Quebec, there's a unique traffic light called FRED. It only gives a green light to drivers going no faster than 30 km per hour. Powered by a solar panel, it can be installed in just two hours. It's strategically placed near a school, addressing the concerns of many residents about speeding near educational institutions. FRED isn't just a regular traffic light, it also assists in penalizing speeders thanks to its built-in camera. Additionally, these speed bumps from Mexico can be added to further compel speeding drivers to slow down. In 
some places, having snow and ice on a car's roof can lead to a fine. Cleaning a regular sedan is simple, but what about buses and trucks? Should drivers carry a ladder? Fleet Plow is a product from the US that was invented for such situations. It looks like a huge shoe brush or a big ice scraper, depending on the version. The medium duty one clears snow, water and ice up to 30.5 cm thick. If you're expecting heavier snow, opt for the heavy duty, handling up to 61 cm. In all versions, the brush and scraper are wide enough so that the driver doesn't have to worry about missing a spot. Fleet plow systems can be powered by 110 volt mains, a generator or a battery, and it only takes 30 seconds to clean a bus. When a pedestrian steps onto the crosswalk, Safe X1 activates its backlight. During the day, yellow flashing signals suffice, but at night, lasers illuminate the pedestrian's feet as an extra precaution. It may sound simple, but the results are impressive. In areas equipped with Safe X1, pedestrian accidents have been drastically reduced. The entire system operates on solar power, ensuring even two weeks of cloudy weather won't disrupt it. Users can monitor the system's performance in real time through a smartphone. Additionally, SafeX1 incorporates false alarm protection. The Hungarian designers deserve credit for their work, although there's still much to be done. In Hungary, three people are hit at crosswalks every day. The Swedish company Hammerglass claims post-free is the noise barrier of the future. It's easy to see why. Just one 12mm thick plate can reduce noise levels by 34 decibels. These plates are crafted from polycarbonates, making them 300 times stronger than glass, but half the weight. For added protection, a scratch-resistant film is applied, guarding against graffiti, oil and asphalt chips. Optional strips can be installed to prevent birds from colliding with the plates. Hammerglass barriers boast a lifespan of over 40 years and can reach a maximum height of 5.6 meters. In the movie Men in Black, Agent K had to perform a trick with a coin to drive through the Queen's Midtown Tunnel, which isn't convenient when driving a rocket car. Luckily, the issue of high-speed tolling has been resolved. The Indra Free Flow system can even detect vehicles traveling over 180 km per hour. Using artificial intelligence algorithms, it determines the vehicle's category to calculate the toll automatically. If automatic payment isn't possible, Indra Free Flow reads the license plate number for identification, making it easy to locate and find the offender. Additionally, the system can assist with traffic counts, accident statistics, and other data. The Rumble Hog RH7500 is a multifunctional truck capable of grinding and cutting concrete and asphalt. It's also used to make rumble strips, warning drivers of dangerous sections of the road and encouraging them to slow down and pay attention to traffic flow. You'll definitely be much more attentive, with the Rumble Hog RH7500 turning the road into a washboard. It can create these strips at speeds of up to 8 km per hour, with cutting synchronization ensured through both electronic and mechanical means. It can make up to 22,000 cuts in an hour, and the debris is sucked in by the vacuum system. It's no wonder this American company is regarded as the world leader in road marking and maintenance.
3M Stamark tape is ideal for temporary road markings. It's made from polyurethane and enhanced with ceramic inserts for durability against heavy highway traffic. Even on rainy nights, the tape remains highly visible. It's quicker and simpler to apply compared to paint, and removal leaves no residues or marks behind. Available in various widths like 10 or 20 centimeters, it also has anti-skid properties. It's no surprise that after testing, several European institutes have approved this tape. Every winter since 1988, residents and visitors to the American city of Holland have enjoyed clean sidewalks, all thanks to a heating system with pipes spanning 306 kilometers. With over 17,700 liters of water circulating through them every minute, even when it's minus 7 degrees Celsius outside, the system melts snow at a rate of 2.5 centimeters per hour. In total, it protects an area of 4.5 hectares from snow drifts and ice, which is more than three soccer fields. The closed system recirculates the same water, saving authorities money on snow removal equipment and chemicals. Plus, walking on clean sidewalks is much more pleasant than trudging through mud and snow mush. Let's talk about Hercules TL3 barriers. They incorporate special elements designed to break down and absorb the energy of impacts, aiming to protect drivers during accidents. They undergo rigorous testing to meet MASH standards, including collisions with a 2.7-ton pickup truck traveling at 100 km per hour. Thanks to its modular design, damaged elements can be easily replaced, reducing the need for frequent repairs. Additionally, traffic can be calmed using solutions like liftable or three-dimensional pedestrian crossings or rumble strips to ensure safer streets. Which option would you prefer for your street? Simax has developed and patented an innovative road repair technology. The process begins with the arrival of the Simex Art 1000 system at the site. It removes, pulverizes, and mixes the old asphalt with special compounds, which is then reapplied to the road surface. This method allows for fixing potholes up to 10 centimeters deep. Once the repair is done, traffic can resume immediately. Moreover, Simex's solution is both cost-effective and environmentally friendly compared to traditional methods. People are so attached to their smartphones that many don't even look up at crosswalks. This is a risky behavior, because accidents can happen even if you cross the street when the green light is on. That's where the Watch Out initiative comes in, aiming to remind pedestrians about traffic safety. The initiative involves installing an app on smartphones and attaching sensors near intersections. When a pedestrian engrossed in their phone approaches the road, they receive a full-screen warning message. The smartphones and sensors communicate via Bluetooth, making it a simple, convenient, and effective solution. What do you think? Installing traffic cones is now a task for just one driver, thanks to this machine. It can install seven cones, or remove six in just a minute. The machine underwent quite rigorous tests. It had to install a total of 57,000 cones and close over 756 kilometers of road. At the end of testing, the machine was deemed ready for mass production, which pleased its creators. Interestingly, work on the concept and prototypes occurred partly during the coronavirus pandemic.